such a powerful, emotional, just heartrending story. Uh, honestly, when I read it, it screamed a movie to me. I thought uh, this could be an extraordinarily powerful film. Voices of women do not matter in here. I want you to take my voice with you. I think this is a great story. It's a powerful story. It's an important story because it deals with issues that are relevant. This is only in a handful of countries. There are many Islamic countries, as you know, and many of them have abolished stoning. So I think it's perfectly plausible to believe that we can abolish it in the countries where it exists now. Navid Negaban portrays the character of Ali, Soraya's husband and the main villain in this story. Negaban's performance truly convinces you of the evil in Ali's eyes. To allow Ali, my character, to come out, I had to cage Navid. I mean, my character, Ali, he tr in a way, he truly believes that what he's doing is his rights. He, he has the right to abuse and manipulate Islamic laws in, for his own benefit. Mm -hmm. And so it's, um, I just hope that they wake up. Shore Ardashlu, who renders a timeless and emotional performance as Zahra, explains her motivation for playing this difficult role. Well, uh, when Cyrus Nora said, the writer-director called me and told me about the subject matter. First thing I said was, well, it is long overdue. Where have you been for the last few years? He took a long pause and said, what do you mean, Shora? I said, I have seen a real one on tape. And since then, I was dying to bring it to the light. You felt the responsibility to bring this message to the people? Absolutely. Whether I like it or not, I've turned myself into uh, a, um, you know, uh, as they say, a self-appointed activist. I am. Uh, I always felt uh, that I have to. Now that I live in a democratic society such as United States, it is a duty for me to shed lights on the injustices and bring it to people's attention. Yes. You have portrayed a woman, Zara, who has, who is very determined to have her voice heard by the rest of the world. Mm. How do you feel about this release of this film happening right now, where in Iran there's a major movement where women have been credited with being a significant role in this? Well, the irony is killing me, to be honest with you. When I started this all, it was all about the voiceless woman and how her rights uh, are being demolished by all these uh, devils around her. But all of a sudden it turned into a women's movement uh, and uh, I remember it was Washington Post who uh, named it a revolution named Zahra. Uh, all those women in Iran, you know, like my character Zahra, all those Zahras, including Mr. Musavi's wife, Miss Zahra Rahnavar, they were running around on the surface of the streets of Iran, trying to tell their stories to the reporters, hoping that the reporters would tell the whole world. And it was just, I've never worked in a film that would, had come so close to reality like this before, never. Before leaving, both Navid and Shore shared a message with the people of Iran, praising them for their strength and courage through these violent times. پیغام من برای مردم ایران اینه که باعث افتخار من این باعث افتخار من که من ایرانی هستم و سعی کنین واسه اون چیزی که حقه و واسه اون چیزی که واقعا احساس میکنین که حقتونه براش بجنگین هیچ چیز ساده به دست نمیاد. و شما هایی که میتونین اون چیزی که حقتونه بگیرین حقتونه بگیرین پیغام من براتون اینه که عاشقشونیم دوستشون داریم صداشون رو در سر, سر جهان تا اون جایی که بتونیم من عکس خواهیم کرد براشون آرزوی موفق میکنیم بهشون افتخار میکنیم که چنین حرکت مردمی و خود جوشی رو آغاز کردن امیدوارم که به عنوان یک ایرانی امیدوارم که این حرکت همچنان ادامه پیدا بکنه اما نه به قیمت خونه بچه های ما امیدوارم که موفق باشن امیدوارم اونایی که دارن بهشون قول میدن که ازشون پشتیبانی خواهند کرد و چینج یا تغییر رو به ایران خواهند برد امیدواریم حداقل اونها پای اون چیزی رو که قول دادن بیستن و امیدواریم که اتفاقاتی مثل مرگ ندا در خیابان دیگه اتفاق نیفته در مملکت ما